Hi everyone. In this video, I will demonstrate how to install and configure Ivanti Patch. So, let's get started. First, let me provide a quick introduction to Ivanti Patch for SCCM, or Ivanti Patch for short. Ivanti Patch is a plugin to Microsoft's System Center Configuration Manager. Ivanti Patch extends Configuration Manager's capabilities by enabling you to publish updates for third party products and for legacy Microsoft products that are no longer supported by Configuration Manager. With Ivanti Patch, you leverage a single Configuration Manager workflow for publishing updates for both Microsoft and non Microsoft products. Our starting point for this video is Configuration Manager. I'm starting here so that I can show you what the Software Updates folder in Configuration Manager looks like before installing Ivanti Patch. After Ivanti Patch is installed, there will be two additional items in the Software Updates folder. To begin the Ivanti Patch installation, I will close Configuration Manager. The next step is to go to the Downloads page on Ivanti.com and download the Ivanti Patch executable file. For this demonstration, I have already downloaded the file and saved it to the local drive. To begin the installation, I will just double click the file. I should mention that there are a few system requirements that must be met in order to install and use Ivanti Patch on a Configuration Manager console. For example, the user running Ivanti Patch must be a member of the WSUS Administrators Group on the WSUS server. They must also have the proper rights, and they must be assigned the proper security scope. There is really nothing out of the ordinary about any of the requirements. You can find the complete list of requirements in the online help system. The actual installation process is extremely easy. You just follow the on-screen instructions on a couple of standard installation dialogs. With Ivanti Patch now installed, let me restart Configuration Manager so that I can show you what has changed. Ivanti Patch will add two new items to the Software Library's Software Updates folder. The Ivanti Patch workspace contains all of the updates that are available in the Ivanti Patch catalog. You will use this area to locate and publish updates. Published third-party updates contains all of the third-party updates that have been published to WSUS. I will talk about both of these areas in much more detail in a separate video. The first time you use Ivanti Patch, the Ivanti Patch settings wizard will be displayed. For example, the first tab in the wizard is the Welcome tab. This tab provides an overview of the tasks that you need to perform before you can begin using Ivanti Patch. I will be walking you through each of these tasks in this video. One task that is not covered by this wizard is the distribution of the code signing certificate that you will need to either generate or import. Distribution of the certificate to your client machines and to your Configuration Manager and WSUS servers is a separate process and must be performed in order for these machines to receive third-party updates. I'll remind you about this separate process later in this video. There are two different configuration setting levels available with an Ivanti patch, User Settings and Shared Settings. The Shared Settings tab is used to specify which level you want to use. User Settings is the default option. All program settings will be uniquely configured for each user on each console machine. If you choose to use Shared Settings, it means that certain settings will be shared with other users of the product who also choose to use Shared Settings. This can simplify the setup process for other users and for yourself if you move between consoles. In addition, when you enable sharing, any custom smart filters or composite filters that you create may be made available to other users who also are using Shared Settings. If you want to share settings, you simply enable the Use Shared Settings checkbox. For this demo, I'll stick with the default User Settings. 
For a more in-depth look at the Shared Settings feature, please view the Shared Settings video that is available on our Ivanti Help YouTube channel. The WSUS Server tab is used to configure how the Ivanti Patch plugin will communicate with your WSUS server. It is also used to define the certificate that will be used to digitally sign the content that is published to the WSUS server. The WSUS server information will normally be detected automatically. You can test your ability to access the WSUS server by clicking Test Connection. A code signing certificate is required in order to publish updates to the WSUS server. You can create the certificate using either an internal certificate authority or your WSUS server. If you use an internal CA, just follow your normal process for creating the certificate and then use the import button to import the cert into WSUS. Note that if your WSUS server is remote, importing the certificate requires a secure SSL connection. For this demonstration, I will create the code signing certificate using the WSUS server. Ivanti Patch simplifies this process by providing a Create a Self-Signed Certificate button. Clicking this button will instruct WSUS to create a self-signed code signing certificate for your organization. For example, here you can see that there currently is no certificate in place. But by clicking the Create a Self-Signed Certificate button, The certificate you need is created on the WSUS server and is registered with WSUS. The certificate is also imported to the trusted root and to the trusted publisher's certificate stores on the local Configuration Manager console. The next step is to export the certificate to an accessible location on your network. This is done using the Export button. For example, After exporting the certificate, you will need to distribute it to any other WSUS servers in your organization and to your client machines. This is necessary so that the machines can receive locally published updates. How you distribute the certificate to these machines is up to you. One of the most common methods for distributing a certificate is to use group policy. You can refer to the Ivanti Patch online help system for information on this and other distribution methods. With my WSUS server settings in place, I am now ready to click Next and configure my proxy settings. The Proxy tab allows you to modify the proxy settings used by Ivanti Patch when accessing the Internet. The first thing you should do is click the Do I Need Proxy Info button. If the test is successful, as is the case here, then nothing further is required and you can simply click OK and then Next. If the test fails, however, it typically means your organization is using a proxy server and you will need to provide the credentials necessary to authenticate to the server. Simply enable the Use Proxy checkbox and then type and test their credentials. Once your proxy information is set, the next step is to license the program. When you first install the program, it will be unlicensed, which is the case we have here. To initiate the license process, click Enter License Key. You should have received your license key in an email message from Ivanti. Simply copy that key to your computer's clipboard and then paste it into the License Activation dialog. Make sure that Product License is selected and that you are using the Online Activation method and then click Activate Online Now. It should only take a few seconds to complete the activation process. When it is done, click Close. Your license key information will now be displayed on the License tab. What I just covered is the online activation process, which is what most people will use. But if you do not have an internet connection and are operating from a secure, disconnected environment, don't worry, you'll just need to use the manual process. See the online help system for information on how to manually import your license. With our program now licensed, 
Let's go ahead and click Next to review the language options. The Languages tab lets you specify how Ivanti Patch should handle updates that contain different download packages for different languages. This tab controls which language versions will be displayed by Ivanti Patch, as well as which language versions will be published to WSUS. We provide you with three different options. By default, Ivanti Patch will only display update packages for languages that are currently supported by your WSUS configuration. You have the option to choose your own subset of languages or to display packages for all languages. And at first glance, displaying packages for all languages might seem like the obvious choice. But if your organization only supports a handful of different languages, you can avoid unnecessary clutter by narrowing the list of languages here. The Catalogs tab shows which update catalogs are currently being used by the program. The Ivanti catalog, which is the primary catalog, will always be active. You also have the option to import third-party update catalogs and to create your own custom catalogs. Refer to the online help system for information about activating and using additional update catalogs. One quick note before continuing. The Catalogs tab also lets you specify how Ivanti Patch will react if new metadata becomes available for updates that you have already published. We give you three different options. And because the metadata is only descriptive in nature, and the update binary itself is never changed, the recommendation is to allow the update without prompting. With everything set, you are now ready to verify that your environment is set up properly to use Ivanti Patch. And we've provided a utility called Configuration Checker that allows you to do just that. Simply click the Launch Configuration Checker button, modify the pre-populated information if needed, and then click Start. As shown here, the utility will execute a number of tests to make sure that you have the ability to connect to the required servers, that your account has the proper privileges and is a member of the required groups, and that your WSUS signing certificate is current and is contained in the proper stores. In this example, I passed all the tests but one, and I'll have to fix this group membership issue before using Ivanti Patch. Finally, the About tab simply shows copyright and version information about Ivanti Patch. There are no actions to perform on this tab, so I can just click Finish. Now that the configuration steps are complete, the Ivanti Patch workspace will finish populating and Ivanti Patch is ready to use. Please view the next video in this series for information on how you use Ivanti Patch to publish updates for your third party and legacy products. And that concludes this video. For more information about Ivanti Patch for SCCM or any of our other products, see the other videos available on this channel or visit our product documentation page. Thanks for watching.